Westwood. Thank, Thank you. you for coming in today. My Thank name you. is Rita. I'm, I'm your leasing counselor. I'm Phyllis. Hi, Phyllis. Hi, Judy. Hello, Judy. Have a seat. Oh, we'd like to know more about Crestwood Village. Well, maybe you do. I want to meet Bob Gregory. Where's Bob? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, Judy, Bob is our spokesperson. He doesn't actually live here. He doesn't live here? He doesn't really live here. I'm not sure if I'm on the apartment if Bob doesn't live here. Well, let's just listen. Let's just listen. But we have, we have so much to offer you here at Crestwood Village, including lovely studio, one bedroom apartments, homes that all have a spacious patio or a deck. Oh good, I need the patio. I've got to plant flowers. Yeah. And each building has a 24-7 laundry facility. That's good. Yeah. More than we want to. Yeah. And each building also has a library for your reading pleasure. Oh, and I love to read. Oh, no, okay. I love to read. Building one and building six has an amazing fitness center. And we're open five days a week. I could probably quit going to the Y and just exercise right here if we came. Think of the time and money you'd say. Yeah. And of course we have the wonderful bus service. It's free, it's included in your rent, and it takes you to so many places. We go to Kroger, we go to all the local pharmacies and banks, we go to Walmart, we go to Dollar General, we go to Kmart, and just lots of different places. We have many varieties of activities going on all the time. And all of your essential utilities are included in your monthly rent. Just one check. One check. Boy, that's easy. Yeah. Do you have an assisted living uh, facility? We do, Phyllis. And we also have Freedom Senior Services. And for a fee, they will come in and to your home and do almost all of your chores. They'll help with bathing, they'll help with dressing, and medication reminders. Yeah, but no Bob Gregory. Probably <laughs> not Robert Redford either. <laughs> Bob does stop by once in a while. Gregory, not Redford. Oh. Judy, you're, you're such a flirt. Yeah, I, I keep telling you, a woman needs a man like a fish needs a bicycle. I know, but he's so good to look at. No. We don't have Bob Gregory, but we have Clyde. And Clyde is here five days a week. Well, he's not too bad to look at either. <laughs> Let's get an application. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for stopping in, ladies. And I'm sure Clyde will be so happy to meet both of you. <laughs> look out, Clyde. Here I come. <laughs> Okay, this is how we're doing the Liars Club, um, kind of like the game Boulder Dash. Um, with the Liars Club, we have Ron and Joanne, and I am going to give you a word. And both of them will have a definition for the word. And you are to decide who is telling the truth. Who is actually giving us the actual definition of the word? Or who is the best liar? Okay? So who's it going to be? Okay? Now the words, that's the fun part too, because the words are words that I, I've never seen these words before. Ron's never seen them. Joanne, I mean, they're, they'll be fun words, okay? So we're going to learn at the same time, all right? Okay, here is. The first word, the first word is Snolly Goster. I'll spell it. Snolly Goster. S N O L L Y G O S T E R. And I promise you these are words. This is an actual word. Snolly Goster. 
Snolly Goster. Okay? Now, each of them are going to tell you what the word actually means, and then I'll take a show of hands, and we can find out who is actually telling us the truth, what the definition of this word is. Okay, go for it. Well, right off the bat, I want to set you straight that this is the little fire of Christmas. <laughs> Snodgaster, that's actually from a Bohemian word, and the word itself is, uh, describes a dance that is done in triple time. It's part of the culture of the Bohemian culture. Well, Ron, that's a likely story that you've never been to Bohemia, and I am sure you have never seen a Bohemian dance in your life. I just saw it. <laughs> no, he, here is, is what the truth is. A snollygoster is a sleazy politician. I'm surprised we don't see this in the media more. So, sleazy politician. That's tough. They, they both, I don't know who's telling the truth either, and I don't like to know. It's, it's fun because they both are so believable. Okay, let's see. A show of hands, let's do a show of hands. Is Ron telling the truth? Who believes Ron? All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, all right. I didn't do it. Okay, Joanne. Hmm. I don't know. That looked like half and half. Half and half. Okay. Who is it? It's a sleazy politician. Yeah. Yeah. Well, has anybody ever heard that word before? No. Before today, has anybody heard that word? No. So this is a good learning experience. Okay. Next word. Next word is wakey up. Wakey up. W A K I U P. Wake E up. Wake E up. Exactly how you pronounce it. Wake E up. Get out of here. I'm sleeping. All right. <laughs> Let's have Joanne go first. Okay. Well, you know, to, to wake you up, um, it's a wild variety of mushrooms that are guaranteed to wake you up. No, that's not true. No, that's not true. Likely story comes from a situation where people say, Get out of my bed! <laughs> it's actually an American Indian hut. I don't know about that. Again, they both seem believable. Okay. Is Joanne telling the truth? Oh my goodness! Look at that! Wow, one person. Okay, so everybody's with Ron, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, who is it? It's Ron. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay, let's try another word. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, this is a good one. Quang King. Quang King. Q-U-O-N-K-I-N-G, but pronounced Quan King. Quan King. All right, Ron, take it away. Well, if you probably noticed, that comes from a Japanese root word, which means a trailing, climbing vine. Quan King. Okay, Ron has never been to Japan in his life, as far as I know. So that is absolutely not the truth. You may have heard in the paper recently that the conductor of the orchestra doesn't like the stage terrace seating because he finds that distracting. Well, that's a Quan King, and it's a sideline noise that upsets performers' concentration. Oh, I'm sure it ain't that. King. Dang. Okay. I don't know. Who do we believe here? Is it Ron? No. Hmm. A couple people. A couple people bought it. Okay. All right. Okay. Those that are into music, what do you think? Is Joanne right? Ah, believable. Hmm. Okay. Who is it? It's
it's the sideline noise that upsets a performer. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you for playing along. And I'm going to play for you, Jealousy. Gone. 
But the wind lingers on. Tell me, dear, do you feel old tonight? Now the romance has fled. Matter of fact, it's dead. He knows where it's at. What's it for? When you turn out the light, he goes left, you go right. <laughs> then you get his great baritone snore. He once was romantic, so witty and alert. Now he's become such a cranky old jerk. <laughs> but don't feel so bad. You could always be dead. Tell me, dear, do you feel old tonight? <laughs>
gonna put my heart at ease gonna take a sentimental journey to remove old memories got my bag and got my reservation been every dime I could afford like a child in wild anticipation long to hear that all aboard seven that's the time we leave at seven I'll be waiting up for heaven counting every mile of railroad track that takes me back never knew my heart could be so yearning why did I decide to roam I gotta take the sentimental journey well to renew my Crestwood memories of wonderful times and the friendship that I treasure the smiling faces when you meet most of all the smiling glow in their eyes and that's the key their lips may be smiling but look at their eyes don't get up close and stare at their eyes but look at their eyes and are they smiling too because that comes from the inside that's the real smile opportunities to play bingo euchre and a new game they tell me sparkle but they can't tell me where it came from what it means they got printed rules on it and I still haven't figured it out and you have to throw the dice and get so many scores to get in the game and then you build from that I can't even get in the game <laughs> so I gotta work on that one Joanne's discussion groups detailing current events science facts animals we've had a lesson on frogs and elephants and buzzards and foodstuffs and where they originated from the different plant foods that we can eat but she gives us a lot of detail on history situations so much so that I'm wondering was she really there and observed these things going on <laughs> gotta find that one out too many opportunities offered by Jackie's Glee Club for furthering and sharing we have a lot of fun in fact we probably have more fun in practice than we do at the actual performances <laughs> the way that's why I got to take this sentimental journey sentimental journey home wow because another thing I love that I got to go back and revisit is doodly do you all heard doodly do doodly do so again that's why I have to take this cinema journey and I want to say thank you Crestwood for preventing proving all of these opportunities for us residents to keep busy keep out of trouble hopefully and to enjoy ourselves thank you I believe in a hill called Mount Calvary. I believe whatever the cost. And when 
But as I have looked at the people up here, I have also been observing the people out there. People whose talents are shared every day by their welcoming smile and their ability to care. You are a talented group, both up here and out there. And I just want to thank you for your willingness to share. Leave this place with friends and a smile, with hopes and dreams and all the while, knowing the good times here will not end because we will be coming together again and again.